we're back with uh, the best genre, the jank con oneers. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you remembered that because I sure certainly as fuck didn't. Uh, what do we call it? A difficult recording about climbing? A difficult recording about climbing because apparently OBS is like giving you guff now. Well, yeah, it's uh, OBS is being a butt, and also we're recording this because we don't know how long this will be. Yeah, it could ideally could be, we yeah, have a very short amount of the game left. Could be ten minutes, could be two hours. I don't want to just like start a stream and then have it be oh it's over. It's also entirely possible that you'll like fail completely, and we'll just we'll never see the top. Yeah. But I believe in you. I I believe in me too. Let's see. Uh. So last time we barely way. managed to figure out the like incredibly stupid jump at the top of this structure. Yeah, this jump is really just not good. Wait, can I? No, I can't. Yeah. Uh, once I again, I just... Jack is playing because I am incompetent at this game. You just need practice. This game's hard. I'm not. I don't. I don't. You notice how how like I I don't like give you shit for for this game in particular because I know that this game is like really hard. I was actually trying to be very encouraging, which is rare for me. We did make it farther than we should have with our stupid, like, one hand per person thing. Yeah. Honestly, if we did that the entire stream. Maybe maybe when you have more practice, we can actually just, we could just do it like, uh... I'm good. Fair enough. I'll, I'll wait for this game to get a spinoff, because getting over it got, like, how many? This is, yeah, a lot. You, there was actually, there's actually climbing, uh, climbing core has a uh, has gotten uh, has gotten comeback because it was this one. There was another one which is like first person difficult game about climbing. I forgot what that one was called. Mount your friends. No, we never played that. Th game. Does that count as one of these games? It's kind of this, but competitive, it isn't it? Yeah. God, they simulated the bulges. <laughs> They, they did, in fact, and they, they gave names for each character. I own both of those, the 2D and the 3D one, we just, we never played them. Yeah, I own, I own fucking a lot of games that I haven't played yet. I need, I'm working my way through them. It's that term, uh, playing your way through your, uh, through your, uh, Steam addiction. I'm doing something wrong, I feel like. Yeah? I, what am I doing that's, because I know this jump. Is it no? It, no, it's is it this jump or is it that jump up there? I, I don't know. I don't know either. It's been so long since I played this. Wait, why I'm is Midna on her back? On our back? What were we doing? Oh God, it's been months. Well, we we uh, we were frozen and now we just came out of hibernation. <laughs> yeah, he fell into the water and stayed there a little too long. Yeah. You ever watch that Mister Freeze movie? Egg did it. Cool. Mr. Free the the Batman the, villain? The Batman Mr. Freeze movie. Yeah, there was a I there was one that showed up like all the time on TV. Are you talking about the movie in with the Batman movie in which in which Mr. Freeze was the villain or a movie yeah, he, specifically about Mr. Freeze? No, he was the villain. It was it was the animated one. It wasn't Batman and Robin. Oh, I'm no, I'm not familiar that with that then. No. Uh Sing Sing louder. No. Uh, there was one where it was like he was a sympathetic and it was it was where like because this whole thing is he wants to like save his wife from cryostasis or something right his wife has like a has like a disease and he wants and there's no 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 nothing that can cure her he's like looking for a way to do it and, and mr freeze himself he has to stay cold because of something or other you're cold inside okay so i'm down here and i gotta I gotta Was, make some, is this some the stupid jump. jump? I gotta make a blind jump from here down this way. That's the one. Yeah, I remember now. This 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 jump sucks. So this was okay. the worst part we've encountered so far. We yeah, did get a little bit past this, and then we we fell again. Yeah. So this is so either I'm gonna get it in a couple of tries and we'll just move past it, or I'm gonna be here for hours. Either way. We'll just cut out. We'll cut out stuff where stuff's boring, or maybe we won't. Who knows? No, I'm not editing this shit. <laughs> I bet you won't. Not until uh, not until the highlights. Yeah. Uh, I need. I still need to. I still. I have like a hard drive now that I can. That I. That is enough room. I can just fucking add in the videos of, of like. Of, I, I need the only that. ones you have right now are the 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 wrestling ones, right? 
Which those would yeah, make I... good highlights. No! Keep it hard, core! Corporate society. I, I Corporate society, Jack. What was it? It was, it was Violent Jack, then Corporate Society Jack, then Nouveau Riche Jack. I think so. I, I think that was the so sequence. Many, I went through so many gimmick changes. That was great. And I, Corporate Jack I, was the most successful. The, the one who yeah. did everything his manager told him to. Yeah. Imagine that. Ah. Okay. I gotta learn. I gotta relearn how to jump. What else are we playing? We're in the middle of Sly Three, but I wasn't in the mood for that today. Yeah. Uh. Is that the only? We're, that's uh, the only other game we're doing, isn't it? Oh, uh, Breath did, of the Wild. Although we we got a fourth one. We got another way to do Breath of the Wild. I did is end it, up getting the DLC, so we'll be doing yeah. well, at least one more stream of that with the two like, I think two DLC challenges. But I want to yeah. get all 120 shrines first, so I have the, the, the special outfit. Yeah. Oh, there's a special outfit for getting all all the shrines. I also got uh, some other of the stuff that's like hidden around. The DLC has like armor and stuff, armor that's fucking useless. So like, whose idea was to make it payable DLC? Well, what, what, wait, what's what's uh, what's the armor that's useless? Uh, it's the, the Royal Guard set. It has like uh, 12 oh. defense total and can't be upgraded. Oh yeah, that is useless. What's its special ability? Uh, I think it's the same as the as the armor. It like increases oh. your your charge attack stamina. Oh well, that's useless. Oh my god! Also, those motherfuckers put a tor a korok at the very tippy top of Hyrule Castle. It takes like an hour to climb up there. Ah, you found me! Fuck you! This is a fucking joke. I think, did I ever show you, man, he met, what was it that we were talking, we were talking about how there were certain games, I am just not getting the momentum, there were certain jumping games, from the higher one? I'm jumping from the highest point, yeah, I need to in order to get to where, uh, where I need to go, um, we we're talking about, uh, like, power-ups that the game gives you that's just way too late for it to matter, and yeah. it's like, why did you give me this? I'm just fucking this the up. like the the poster child being the the triple jump thing at the end of Mario yeah. 64. Yeah, it's like you don't earn it. You just you get everything. There's nothing left to unlock. Here's a super cool triple jump. It's not even that like that useful for anything. It just kind of hey, here's this little extra flare. Does it doesn't like it doesn't like give you extra height? I don't think so. I wonder. I wonder if there's like a if there's like a cool YouTube video that like tells you fucking shit. What, uh, was there, like, another game that came to your mind that did that? Uh... I'm trying to think. I'm just uh, asking, like, what brought on this discussion? I think we were just talking about it. Sorry, I'm, I, 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 my thought process is divided right now. No, I get it. Uh... Oh, there is that one Bennett. Bennett is making a game kind of in like the uh, difficult walking style. I think it was called Baby Steps. I don't know if it's out yet though. Difficult walking, like Quop. Uh, yeah, something like that, except 3D and. What's up with? Okay. He's kind of got a fixation on like, well, no, games have to be really challenging. They have to challenge you every step of the way, otherwise you don't feel like you've earned anything. There's a market for it. Like, I, it depends on your mood. Like, I, sometimes I want I want games that are just, like, really difficult, and I just want to struggle and scrape and claw my way up. Sometimes I want a game that uh, that I want to feel like a fucking god. Like, at the same time, though, it's a leisure activity. Like, you're not getting a life skill from being good at... you From getting over it, really. No. You're not. It's but, really but, just a matter of preference when you think about it. It's a matter of preference? Yeah, like, sometimes you... Sometimes you want like like a really just savory food. Sometimes you want sp food that'll like burn your tongue when you eat it. I I like that the Pokemon games are easy. Blasphemy. Yeah. I like that I can turn my brain off and mash a. 
I okay, like, maybe not to that degree. Otherwise, they were talking like Cookie Clicker or Maple Story. We don't need to go that far. I I I will say I like game. I like the fact that uh, that Pokemon games can allow you to just have your all your Pokemon be leveled. You don't have to shuffle and like plan out and and. That's and just, just like, convenient. Yeah, I like I like like games being like really complicated. I also like it. I also like a level of convenience. As, specifically on Pokemon, I would like a middle ground. Because, like, the single player in Pokemon games is kind of brain-dead easy. And comparatively, fan games are incredibly painfully difficult. To the point that I can't get anywhere in them. Yeah, it's like... Do you think do you think regular Mario, like Super Mario, is, like, too easy? Or is it really hard? I, it's like, we, we made a joke Mario's. about how... I yeah. think it's pretty easy, but also I've been playing platformers my whole life. So, like... Yeah. You see Gen Alpha kids who have never touched one, and they think it's impossible. Yeah, there we go. I just need to. I just need to, to nail the technique. Uh, and you've never played Kaizo, have you? I'm aware. I've seen it played. I think that like it's Kaizo Classic, rather. I've also seen like like I know what Kaizo tricks are. I've seen levels in Mario Maker that result revolve around them or try to teach you them, and I just don't find that kind of thing fun. Yeah, you prefer something like like kind of difficult platforming, but without like the Kaizo tricks and traps yeah. that like they that are common. Just like it's just like what you see is what you get in terms of difficulty. I'm more talking about the the tricks Kaizo than traps Kaizo. Yeah, like Kaizo shell jumps. Uh, you 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 don't like shell jumps, or you do like shell jumps? Like shell jumps is like a purely skill based thing. It's not like Cat Mario. Ha ha! You fell for this. Uh -huh, Aha, yeah. you can't end yeah, the level I, normally. I, if, I, if I just slid down the ice, I would have gotten it. Yeah, Fuck. we gotta relearn how to do this stupid jump. Oh. Okay, this this jump I feel like is harder, but I spend more time on it, so... I don't remember you struggling with this one the last time we played. I, I just have to relearn how the momentum works. Uh... Yeah, uh... I, I kind of I kind of want to do a stream on on original Kaizo since that's like kind of like the uh, patient zero of hard type Mario hacks. Which uh, which is it? Is it Mario World? Yeah, it's Mario World. It's Super Mario World. Uh, and is it more just... tricks? Is it traps? Or is it like a combination? There's there's tricks and traps. I remember you mentioning one where like if you walk through the goal, it will auto walk Mario into a death or something. Uh, that's that's in one of the spe the bonus levels. Ah. There's like four of them, and that's one of them. That that one's infamous. Uh, I don't know if you if you remember the dude known as Proton John. He was a mem. He uh, I've heard the name. He was like, he was uh yeah one of the original like OG LPers back in the day, back when uh, they were all on a certain uh, let's playing sub forum, and uh, and he his famous video was him doing that level blind. Yeah. And uh, blind as in like, blindfolded? No, blind as okay. if he's never seen it before. Okay, like, that's better. Yeah, yeah. definition of blind. Uh, and what are, uh, some choice quotes? Uh, what do we got? We got a hundred seconds. Uh, what? What the fuck? Maybe I imagined that. Oh fuck! I didn't imagine that. Yeah, stuff like that. It's it's one of those things. And he was he was safe stating heavily, and it's yeah. it's like if I were to do that game, I would want to try to avoid. Why am I having so much trouble with this all of a sudden? Probably because I'm talking at the same time. I finally hey. found out the original context for a diggy diggy hole. Apparently, yeah, it was a was Minecraft let's play. Uh, who's, who was the let's player? It was the Ogs cast. Okay. Which I'm kind of disappointed that it wasn't something like Dwarf Fortress because that feels so much more fitting. Yeah. Okay, I, th I think I know the spot I can I can use for that now. Now that I know exactly where it is. Okay. That is that is such a shitty jump. Just that this blind jump. I'm hoping that's the worst in the game. Okay, I can make that. Nope. Readjust grip. Probably. This is this is why I'm like you should you want to do recording I'm like why are we doing recording He's like because it could take a while and like it could, it could take like just short and I'm like yeah it makes sense. Uh, okay. 
Hey, don't look at the video scrubber. Don't see how long it is. Be surprised, damn it. If it's a premiere, then the people would be surprised. But then again... No, no, I don't think we have enough people that would, like, show up to that. We just mostly do this for ourselves these days, which is fine. Yeah. And then we can look back on the memories. It's like a photo album. Yeah. Photo album of video games. Man, remember when, when Midna called us a cheeky baka? Good times. Link is a good boy. Good boy, Link. You were, like, talking about, like, about, like, should I be using this as a thumbnail? I'm like, yeah. Hell yeah, it's good. Like, is this too stupid? Like, no. <clears throat> I still think that my favorite thumbnail you did was just the close-up on Jockin's face. Yeah. Uh, it is a good face. Anime Game Night. I, that, was, that was, like, one of my favorite, like, thumbnails you did. Uh, okay. There, or probably right there. Yeah. We've, uh, we've been going on an adventure watching all the forgotten or, like, unknown Takahashi stuff. Yeah, uh, we've been watching all sorts, all the original, like... It's weird how Takahashi is not really my... She's not my favorite, but she's not my least favorite. She's just kind of, like, there, but they, but she has, like, a, a big body of work. We just fell down that rabbit hole. She's prolific. I Like, I don't know yeah. of any other mangaka with, like, as many works, much less as many successful works... Like, even Akira Toriyama... Uh-oh. Ah. Uh, it's, it's fine, I can get back up. Even Akira Toriyama only really has two, arguably three, if we count Sandland. Sandland is, is not bad. I've read Sandland. Sandland was fun. I wish that got an animation. But people don't really know about it until it got this, no. like, game. Yeah. Get in a tank and fight other tanks. Sandland. Yeah, Sandland. Uh... What are some so other... So, Dragon uh, Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super, and then... Well, if we're counting, those as multiple works. I just meant, like, Dragon Ball and, like, Dr. Slump. Oh, yeah, Dr. Slump was his... Really? Uh, yeah. Tagashi has two well-known ones. Yu Hakusho and uh, Hunter x Hunter. Yeah, and Most mangaka be... never get a second hit, really. Well, then again, it's, it's like... If you're comparing them to like musicians, musicians, you talk about the one hit wonder. It's like they they were just had one the one song. It's like if if like these mangakas had like uh had like one song, but that song was like five hours long. That's true, like but also wonder. Takahashi has like four long running series. It's just kind of baffling. Takahashi, it is it is weird, yeah that that she just was able to like basically be the weird romantic Stephen King of her of her uh, medium. And her out, her output is very hit and miss. And when it misses, it oh, misses yeah. hard, but... Oh, God. Her, her comedy is very, very hit and miss. And her more, her more like, uh, her, like uh, weird, like, supernatural, like, horror stuff, I feel like that hits more. Um, she can write just well in general. Ah, fuck! That if, sucks. As we saw with, like, Maze on Koku. Yeah, that that was that was a great drama, and like and that and it had a romantic relationship that wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen. Damn it! And she also has like good ideas for just like premises from time to time. Yeah. Well, she had well, she has a good she had a good idea for a premise and she used it three times. She she reuses characters like like crazy. Characters and like story ideas. Yeah. Because she she reused she did. Uh, Fire Tripper, and then she did Inuyasha, now she's doing Mao, and Mao is basically Inuyasha again, except with a, uh, a more pretty boy main character. Which, I don't know if Fire Tripper had legs, but it was, it was a fascinating premise. Oh god, that twist. I, I don't want to talk, if you can watch, if you have the ability to find Fire Tripper, you should watch it. Um, because that, that, that was, that... It's proto-Inuyasha, and it has a really interesting twist going on with it. It is fucking amazing. And then, uh, but I also really like the concept, the fact that she basically did a really good Italian horror film with uh, with Laughing Target. It was Laughing very Tar Italian horror film. Oh, it was great. Like, oh, man. We should compare that. I should get you to watch Suspiria, the old one, and, and, and it was like a comparison and just be like, dude, Takahashi could make an ad adaptation of this. And then we watched her third OVA, which was the Space Bounty Hunter, which seemed so promising from the premise, and it was uh, just... 
just bad writing and down punching comedy and uh to quote to quote a certain music reviewer it's not good yeah <laughs> what a discipline well, that, that was the one we were looking forward to the most too i feel yeah yeah i was really looking forward to it. like oh I, in sci-fi i'm sure it'll be very good and then and then it seems like takahashi has more respect for horror than she does sci-fi because every time she does something sci-fi it's all comedic and is like making fun of it Whereas every time she does something horror, it's like she treats it with, like, respect. Sci-fi was a very, like, it was, like, everywhere in the 80s for anime. Yeah. It was Star yeah, Wars like a... that inspired it all. Yeah. It's hard to oh, overstate man. how huge that was in Japan. There's there's this YouTuber called Bad Movie Bible. He talks about uh, the Japanese Star Wars knockoffs and how they're, like, and how they were, like, uniquely, like, they were unique in a way. Especially the animated stuff. I, I caught uh, some some like reference some like uh, recommendations for some uh animated uh, sci-fi films that that were inspired by alien that seemed to be interesting i'm interested in checking out uh space captain harlock because that's very influential yes uh to the point where uh where the guy explicitly called it a star wars knockoff but also like, like not the like main, a ripoff the main villain is to my understanding, like a benevolent leader of her people just trying to fend off this space pirate. So I'm curious what that dynamic is like. That is like, uh, that does sound like a, uh, a very Takahashi-esque, uh, like plot. All right. How'd I do it this time? I'm all the way to the side here. Uh, I'm going to need a certain moment of quiet while I figure this out. Not far enough. Wait, you Got were it. holding onto the ice for a second there. Yeah, I was, but if I'm you trying slide to move it. long enough, can you like grip it? I wonder. I wonder if that can't be the intended way, though. Also, I just <sighs> I just realized something unfortunate. Uh, if I sound strange, it's because apparently whatever fuckery happened with OBS, it got rid of all of my uh, microphone filters that I had set up. Oh no! So what the uh, fuck, Obs? my condenser is gone, and I'll have to figure that out after this. Well, you don't say, you don't you sound fine, so. Well, I sound the same as I ever would have on Discord because Discord doesn't have the condenser effect. Oh yeah, but I uh, probably sound the weirder of the two of us two. I have to see. Hopefully, I'm not I... like peeking too much. I'll just try to stay a little bit further from the microphone. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna. This wall is gonna be burned into my memory. I swear. If we were Kenpachi, we could just cut it in half. Yeah, especially a uh, Bonkai Kenpachi. You can cut anything in half, even concepts, I guess. I can't. I. I want Thousand Year Blood War to come out already. God damn it! Well, you be, don't. Don't set your expectations too too high. I hear it ends shittily. Like as long as you know what, as long as long as the shitty is interesting, I don't I don't care. <laughs> like what? How's it gonna end? The main guy just he gets a tummy ache and he dies. <laughs> the main bad guy. He gets like he gets kind of stabbed in the gut and he just is like, oh, oh, oh. I don't know how he recovers from being an ant. That's how that's how that season two ended. Was the one guy basically said, "You don't have a name anymore. Your name is Ant," and he fucking fucking killed him. And then Uryu uh, and the rest of the crew got like killed by uh, by being interwoven into fabric to death. Bleach really just does feel like it's been winging everything since I don't know the second half of the Aronkar arc. You want you want to talk about what Tight Kubo said about about his main villain? Oh yeah, you, you you revealed something that really just made me change the way I viewed him, and I'm just like I can't view him the same way again. I mean, I never considered him an amazing author, and I don't. I considered him to be a person who tried at least. I don't think most people do. It's it's just kind of a cool and fun series to watch and or read. But yeah, uh, yeah, I saw an article that supposedly Tight Kubo, the author of Bleach, decided to. Uh, he actively decided not to give his villain a backstory. Yeah. Because he figured that would make it, it that would make him a better fight. 
or better opposition and, if you like couldn't sympathize or understand the villain in any way. Uh, which I I don't agree. I get the idea because I do like an unsympathetic villain like Frieza, but they also need to have like motivation. Like you can't you know just what? you can't just deal with it by making everything about the villain unknown because then that just kind of feels like you're saying, "Oh, well, they're evil. They're Sith. You got to kill them because they're evil." That's it. Yeah, I I just uh itchy knows. I I was just saying that like uh that like we viewed we viewed MHA's backstories on their main villains like uh like fucking uh Shigaraki? Yeah, Tomar Shigaraki he ha he has a backstory which explains everything, but I don't find any sympathy with him because he's yeah. like he, because of the shit he did. No, it's he's like, in he he's insane and he needs to be taken down. But you can also su understand how he got there. Yeah, which you know that's not. And it's like he's mysterious. You know what? That that can only work if your fucking uh, if your fucking main villain is some cosmic horror. Yeah. And Eisen does it, Eisen does not have like one eye tentacles and. Or like a noble like morality. He's. But what if he did? Then then it'd be completely it'd be com a completely different series. It's especially kind of frustrating with Eisen because like you could very easily make an argument that oh the Soul Society is corrupt. He had a reason for yeah. wanting to like overthrow it. Yeah. But, no. You it's, do, you could, nope. He's evil. You could do. I feel like you could do Eisen's backstory one of three ways. One. He was a well-intentioned extremist in the fact that the Soul Society was corrupt and he was fighting against it. And through his actions, he actually managed to root out their corruption. And then at some point, he's like, "Well, I got to make sure to be like the villain so that they have a, a so that they have a, a thing to unite against." Is that, Two, what's that the, the Thanatos or the Zero yeah, Approval Gambit? Yeah, that's the TV trope. The Zero Approval Gambit. Uh, number two, uh, he he wanted to unite the Soul Society against a target. But not him. He wanted to do it against Yahweh, but he was like, oh, these guys are going to be fucked if, as they are. So he provided, like, a way for himself to, like, to like become the villain so they could train to defeat him. And so when Yahweh came, he's like, I told you it was going to happen. Because he, he explicitly decided he wasn't going to join him when he was offered. And, in fact, helped them out by, like, by like fucking with their perception of time. That's still kind and, of, that's reaching. I, I don't yeah. like that one. No, nah, but not or number three, as a, which was kind of hinted by Ichigo, he was lonely because he was too powerful, and so he just felt like he couldn't like sympathize with anybody. I mean, that would reasonably make sense, yeah. That would that would be the and it's like it was hinted at, but he didn't like commit. I would have liked to see a backstory of him in in like in like the uh, he just and maybe in, like, it's revealed one of the shit that like districts. Or no, or maybe maybe he was around somebody. He awakened his power. He was so strong, he ended up killing people, and as a result, he felt like he just constantly had to be alone. And that's the other thing. Like, there's no explanation for why he's so incredibly powerful. If he worked for it, if he was born that way, no, he's it's mysterious. Yeah, get an explanation for. And also, I think I feel like just Bleach just has a problem with like not really explaining things until they need to. The like whole, how, we didn't even the, know how the fuck Zod Pacto were created until literally the final arc. Now is that is that not explaining until later, or is that Taikubo not thinking about it until way after he should have? I feel like Taikubo has a thing where he just does not like consider the implications of like what's going on. He doesn't even like he didn't even like write it down. He didn't like have a plan it just it's just it's just aggravating to me i think he's just kind of like like a fun schlocky action writer who just wants to wants to draw fight scenes for Dude, the most you know part what? yeah that makes sense i think he's pretty self-aware about it he's a dude he's a dude who really wanted to be like a 70s like uh, action movie writer and he ends up writing like a like a manga with hints that there was like there's like a cool world going on he didn't know how to handle it. I've said this before, I'm, but... I'm, I'm so sorry I'm sucking here. No, you're fine. I've said this before, but I feel like the unfortunate truth is that most mangaka are not very good writers. Because they don't really need to be to be successful. It usually comes down to the quality of the art and the, you know, the comic framing. Yeah, Demon Demon Slayer was what people call it the definition of mid. And I didn't know that until, like, later on. And yeah... 
if we were watching it, we were just some of it was funny, but it was just not. The most interesting part was the fact that the that the guy apparently confused uh, vampires for demons. It's, which is weird because I feel like like him and his sister are like sympathetic characters. It's just like it's just presented in such a way that's like not very good. It's a bizarre series because we only watched like ten episodes, but every step of the yeah. way, it felt like it was going towards like the main character was going to have a journey, a eureka realization that okay, he has to realize that he's too nice Fuck. and he can't save and spare everyone. But and then he just, he just kind of just kills people. We, I will. I hope you find peace in your next life, demon. Like him being nice doesn't really come into play. He's just like, oh, okay, and then he stops. I, I don't know. I'm not explaining not it very nice well. Nice in like a really creepy way. Like, like he he could have been like nice and like and like you're a demon, right? Oh well, you're going to die now. Like, it's an illusion of character progression, because it makes yeah. it seem like there's going to be a story where he, like, learns something and has to... Has to, like, like, become it. hardened. Yeah. And, you know, not all stories have to go that direction, but it just it just seems like like he, like the character is just kind of like he was, like a, like a hardworking big brother, and then they just did the most interesting character development kind of off screen, and now he's like a different, like a completely different character. Like not, he's well, not. That's character. he's not though. That's the thing. Like he's not hardened, but he's just enough. It's implied that he's hardened. He's killing demons without really like, like, uh, like hesitating about it. It wasn't really like a conflict for him though. It just kind of happened overnight, which begs the question yeah. of why it needed to be an arc in the first place. I guess. Yeah. I think he was always kind of like a psychopath. Got it. Okay. Uh Chainsaw Man was be is is better than than Demon Slayer. It's oh, yeah. like because the world building is actually interesting. Is that uh, Okay, well, that's another thing about Demon Slayer's world building is that it takes place in the era after uh after the Meiji Restoration and that in like that weird era after the Meiji Restoration, but before like uh, like the uh, next part, before World War, before the World Wars, it's kind of like demons about. <laughs> it's kind of like how we joke about Code Lyoko being in like a ghetto cyberpunk world, because yeah, there's this like amazing technology that would be cyberpunk era that only shows up sometimes, and yet the rest of the world looks like it's just shit two thousands. Yeah. So you know, this is the, this is the poor part of a cyberpunk world, because yeah. Demon Slayer is similar in that it takes place in an era with like telephone lines. Yeah, there's but everyone power looks lines, at least. but everyone looks like they're living in Edo. It's just like yeah. super shitty. And you know what? You know what? That that could be true. That could have been true back at the time. Maybe the author was onto something. But it is kind of weird. It was just kind of disconcerting. And then there's the fact that apparently. Demons ex existing is a surprise to the main character. You didn't know that demons existed. If if, the, mean, if this was a threat that you could not go out at night for risk of being eaten by a demon, th this would be common knowledge in the world. There's no yeah, way it and, wouldn't be. And it's not. And it's like again, you're confusing demons with vampires. Vampires are the ones that are stealthy. It seems like these demons are like not very subtle. They're at a public all menace. About... Yeah. There's a fucking secret society dedicated to hunting down these vampire. I mean, demons. Am I supposed to go down? No. Are you supposed to swing over all the way over to that oh, one? Oh, God. That's the, another the most, like big jump. That's a jump I cannot do. I'm going to go down for a second. I'm going to double check. There's nothing. No, I have to go up. Well, that sucks. Can't go up that way. Yeah, it is. it is basically another, like, really really giant jump. You gonna use your right hand? Damn it! Oh, I fucked it. Can you, like, can you slide down a little and go back to the right to re-grab yeah. the thing? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. 
shimmy on the ice. How did we not do this, like, ever in the previous stream? We, we just never, like, grabbed the ice and stopped. It's a very tricky jump, and, and and doing it the way I'm doing it, I feel like I am just fucking it up. I'm glad that I I'm glad that I was able to save it though. Uh, so going back to Chainsaw Man, Chainsaw Man actually, its universe is very interesting in that demons, a devil, sorry, devils are a known thing, and there is like public things to hunt them, and the devils are interesting in their in their own like separate in their own unique ways. It, it's consistent with its world building. Oh, yeah. Also, the main character is, like, endearing. It's, like, weirdly endearing in a way, in a weird way. Like, you get, you get like, uh, Tanjiro, the, the, who's, like, who's, like, kind Demon of, Slayer kid. Yeah, Demon Slayer guy is just kind of, like, generic in that weird way that, like... It's like, it! he's a He's, like, a, like, a Steven Universe Deku, like, nice kid character except that but never comes into weird... play in any way yeah meanwhile meanwhile dingy is just like oh man i love this i'm fucking i'm fucking eating well he's just a dude who's had a shit life and appreciates not having a shit life anymore oh yeah he's like he's like you might die doing this he's like oh but but i get i get uh, food right i get square meals another blind jump okay but we're approaching the peak. I can feel it. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. This is so fucked. <laughs> yeah, I can't talk while you're doing that. Yeah, thank you. Uh. God. I was going to say, we is... go on. There's also a lot of like comedic comedy to, to Chainsaw Man from what we watched. Yeah. Uh, the characters are like mostly functional with one another, except for like the angsty smoker dude. Oh yeah. He's like he's like the one Takahashi character dropped in an otherwise kind of realistic cast of characters. Yeah, and uh, God, I hate realistic. being your rival. Otherwise realistic. Well, what in terms of the, well, not yeah, realistic. okay. Power is just like king from power, the Owl House. Power, power is king. She talks, she talks like old school style. It's great. Bow and to me, human slave. The, uh, oh, how do I fucking do this? Yeah. Damn it. Uh, That's fine. This rock is a good safety rock. We all, we have not finished, but we also started Takashi's a Mermaid Forest. Sorry, Mermaid Su No, it's Mermaid <laughs> Forest. That's the name it of the mermaid anime. Forest. Raises yeah, an I, eyebrow. I I I, ta I, I told uh, I told uh, my my ma like that I was watching a show called Mermaid Forest, and she's like, "Um, Mermaid Forest." That doesn't sound right. But. Uh, we got an interesting. Oh, no. We got an interesting sequence of things. We got uh, in Demon Slayer. We have demons that are actually vampires. Yes. In Chainsaw Man, we have devils that are actually tulpas. Yeah. Mermaid and, uh, Saga has mermaids that are actually demons. Yeah. And they're, uh, they're fucking creepy as fuck. One Piece has a tulpa that's actually a merman. Yeah. There you go. We call him it. We call him a tulpa because. He's like there was like he, a scene of like uh, what was it? What the did prince? humans ever? What did humans ever do to you? Not a damn thing. The prince of the mermen was like the, he he's just he's a product of hate and bigotry. And you were just like he's a fucking tulpa. Like literally, <laughs> the racism of Mermaid Island congealed into Hody Jones. Yeah, he is uh. Uh, and, you know, once they killed him, all the racism the went devil. away. He's the mermaid devil. Yeah. I did I did end up reading uh, a bit about Chainsaw Man lore, because I don't know if there's ever going to be another series. And uh, and there's some fascinating... There's a reason... I just want to let you know, there's a very good reason why uh, the Chainsaw Devil is uh, is well is highly sought after by people. Oh, okay. And I, I don't... I'm, you probably don't want to know. I, you want... No, I'll wait. Rules? Okay.
you never know. We could we could bleach thousand year blood war it and get like more people, but it is very fascinating in that. Yeah. Anyway. Uh. Okay. That is a very scary. That is the scariest jump ever. That jump. Yeah. Because if I fuck up, I go I go back down and I gotta somehow save it. Okay. No! Oh! Well, that was brain damage. <laughs> Damn it! All right. Uh, all right. Let's new topic. Uh, what, what's uh, we were talking about? Uh, get up! We were talking. We were <laughs> planning a uh, planning mermaid forest. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> tell, tell you want to talk about the first episode? <laughs> It was it was quite possibly the most like the most dysfunctional a Takahashi work has has been, and I that's saying something. I, I guess you think it. Well, it was very the technical parts of it were dysfunctional, not oh, like the yeah. characters. No, it it was you you could tell it was like an incredibly low low budget production. <laughs> it was the most sick. obviously low budget production that I think we have ever seen. Yeah. It was so bad that they ha they replaced the the soundtrack composer from episode one and just start. They got a new soundtrack for episode two on. Yeah, which isn't much better, but it's better. They replaced uh, one of the. Was it only in English or in Japanese? They replaced actors part way. I I think I think it was only in English. It's funny uh, that those coincided though. Yeah, it was also it's also just funny. This the series itself is also just like incredibly weird they're like they're it involves like an immortal dude mermaids and an old lady mountain cult <laughs> oh no this is hard all right it's a very uh, bizarre yeah. premise series that thus far hasn't done a lot with the premise it's done some with it there they just be people eating mermaid flesh and then going Wait, if I eat this, I'll live forever. Or you turn into a monster? What? And then they turn into a monster. Well, it's been a series of, like, short stories of the characters, well, the immortal dude, just kind of going on adventures that are kind of disconnected from one another. Yeah, it is a very anthology story about a dude who is immortal. and uh, Which, kind of like Inuyasha. They just kind of travel around having adventures. Yeah. And so far, they have another character that is, like, just newly immortal and... Uh, not really doing much with uh, her because if they, they did the first episode they flashed back to the past in the second episode and it was not a not a flattering character introduction she was mean but then you find out that her life sucked so you kind of get it uh, she was mean but she was funny like yeah. she was funnier than chloe <laughs> and also they deserved it <laughs> it's like it's <laughs> It's like, it's, like a, it's like an anime mean girl gets kidnapped, and the people that she's abusing absolutely deserve every bit that... Oh, yeah. Everything she's giving them. They were awful. Like, uh... Like, <laughs> at first, what was her introduction? They're like, here, eat this, and then she fucking throws a fucking bull at her, and you're like, we just laugh because that's that's comical. It's just like, why are you abusing this, this like, nice old woman? And then we later go, and we're like, oh, you deserve it. Oh, she's incredibly evil. Okay. Yeah. What was it? The, uh... The mermaids have a weird life cycle and, like, diet. Like... There's a lot like of cannibalism they... in the show. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I yeah, guess it's like... just mermaid cannibalism. In the mermaid forest. Mermaid forest. Oh, yeah. Mermaids can take... Can just take human form. It's Not a... a problem for them. I was definitely... It's, it's new. How many other anime are about, like, a specific mermaid lore? Uh, not many. Like so, on on the idealistic side, you have the Little Mermaid, uh, Disney version. Not that, not the book. That one's more cynical. And on the very cynical side of mermaids, you have fucking Mermaid Forest. Oh, they're fucking monsters in Mermaid Forest. Yeah. 
Well, they're actually I think they're the kind of like vampires because they're like weirdly seductive, but also like terrifying. The more in, into it, the more you know about them. What if vampires but fish, and, and then mermaid forest? Why did they call it that? Because the name of the manga is Mermaid Saga. I guess because it was, the, like, the most popular arc of the manga. I can't wait till we get to that to find out what the fuck the mermaid forest is. The trees are mermaids. <laughs> why do the- what are these, like, fucking gills on these trees? Uh-oh. Is it a- oh, it's a forest made of mermaids, like the river made of snakes and primal. <laughs> I love that. That was that was the right amount of ridiculous. It just it just made it seem like the snakes were fucking summoning a, a flood to like attack attack uh, Fang and John Primal. Primal is just a show about a relatively well, he's tough but otherwise ordinary caveman dude in ridiculous situations. Yeah. Zombie dinosaurs, snake was... rivers, demon bats. Yeah, it's uh, being led by a spider cult leader. <laughs> I Ca love cavemen primal. apes on drugs. Pr see, the thing is, primal is my is my kind of ridiculous. It it, it is it is my shit. Uh, so oh, do I need to make I need to make this other? Th this is jump. this is that shitty jump. The shittiest of jumps. Is this the longest jump in this in this game? I don't know. The fact that it's, like, perfectly horizontal doesn't help. Yeah. <clears throat> other side! The other side, John Climber! I assume there's... This way! This way! You motherfucker! He wants to go left! I'm going right! Fuck you! I assume there's no way to, like, use the, use the gripping the ice to your advantage on that jump. I don't think so. If there is, I, I, I don't know. You can look it up on YouTube. Uh, but then again, that would tell me how, far, how much farther the game is, and I don't want that. For those who have no surprised. idea what we're talking about, Primal is the uh, latest series by Samurai Jack creator Gendy Tartakovsky. Yeah, and I honestly really like Primal. I know you don't really uh, like jam with it like I do, but it is just like it is like the kind of thing where it's like. Okay, this caveman is going to be with this dinosaur. Now that we've destroyed, like, uh, like, uh, like realism, let's just fucking have fun with it. It's very Conan the Barbarian-ish in, like, in, like, just how, like, fantastic things get. I really like it. I already know you're I going to, like, completely 100% disagree with this statement. Yeah. I find Primal to be a show that is artistic, but not very entertaining, personally. So I, like, kind of need to be is... in the mood to, like... <laughs> I got fucked by that fall. Yeah, rip. Yeah. Artistic but not entertaining, huh? That's that's interesting. Cause I find it inter I, I find it entertaining because I just the whole thing about like the fucking because it's just it's just ridiculous. You got you got a guy holding up a spear, a caveman making monkey noises. I got okay. He's just shouting. He's not really making monkey noises. So the gratuitous violence doesn't really do anything for me. It's yeah. a lot of, uh, not, not that that, like, hurts the show. It's just not enough to be entertaining by itself. And it's yeah, kind of, like, the, from, from, the stories from themselves that. aren't that deep. It's just kind of, oh, well, what about zombie dinosaurs? It, it, like, the really the only unique thing about the show is the way that the stories are told, because it's completely nonverbal. And that's, yeah. that is interesting. I just again, I need to be in the mood to appreciate that sort of thing. I gotcha, and I'm sure, and I'm sure my making jokes about it doesn't help your mood eh. when it comes. Because I, because we, when we do watch stuff, you've seen, you see, we we've shown like a couple of our watch sessions. When we do watch stuff, we do commentary over it, just naturally, yeah, and we just talk about stuff. Uh, come on, I this okay. These other jumps, I haven't figured out the top jump, but I'm pretty sure it's doable. This jump sucks because of how that's higher and yet far as, than this one, and I don't know the proper hand grip for it. Like, yeah. I feel like I'm missing this jump more than I'm missing the blind jump up on the top. I hate this jump. I have to get it just right. I have to get the momentum just right, and I'm not getting it just right, and that's really just pissing me off. 
planning a uh, multiverses stream with Nick Wickersham on, yep. I think, the first weekend in June, because that's the first one after the game officially releases. I'm not optimistic, but I'll give it a shot. The main character, the, the new character they're releasing is fucking Banana on a Stick. Sorry, Banana with a Stick. <laughs> yeah. I said that, and you're like, oh my god, you're right. It's a banana with a pointed stick. What if we got the pointed stick? Shut up. You're defending yourself. <laughs> now, I will teach you how to defend yourself from a banana. With, is it have a pointed stick? Yes. Oh, all right, then. They shoot some. Uh, it's not just... We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it more when we play the game, I'm sure. So we don't need to talk about multiverses yeah. too much, but... Uh... Yeah, what we played of it, it was very, uh... We weren't super impressed with what the game already was, and since it went to a new engine, which is always a good idea... <laughs> yeah, you told me that, and I'm like... I just rolled my eyes being like, that has that never works out. It Go looks... Porting everything to a new engine is not... It never works out. Everyone's had pretty much the same reaction in that the gameplay looks a lot slower and more zoomed in, so... I'd, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering what feedback they got from the beta if this was their, their response. It's too fast. We need to make it more slower. This game is too hard. I cannot play this game. Oh, man. Uh, Please add random tripping. An, an infamous uh, example of a, of a new engine basically just fucking over a game, uh, porting it to a new engine, fucking over a game, uh, most famously, Daikatana. I thought you were going to say Duke Nukem Forever. That too. Duke Nukem Forever had a lot of problems. At least, you know what? At least Daikatana managed to get itself released on its new engine after they rebuilt everything. Duke Nukem Forever, it, it, they had a whole new company had to take over, and, and even then it still wasn't... Didn't it go through like three engines, that one? They actually found like an old school like build of it, and they played, and it... And it was like, you know, if they released it like this, it would have been, it would have been all right. Not like that, but like if they, if they expanded on this engine, it would have been all right. But no, they had to just constantly upgrade engines. And it's like, at some point, pick a fucking engine and go with it. It's also like Duke Nukem as a series is not a particularly high bar. I watched, uh, I watched Joel stream, I think one of the PS1 ones, Land of the Babes. And it was worse oh, yeah. than Duke Nukem Forever. Uh, if you talk to, if you tell, if you ask Sivia's opinion on the Duke series, he would say that the series peaked with Duke Nukem 3D on the build engine, and uh, any game over that is uh, is very hit or miss. Yeah. Uh, more miss than hit, and Duke Nukem Forever is not good. Yeah. He, he everybody basically agrees Duke Nukem Forever was a was a bloated, overhyped thing, and Gearbox basically just uh, just stuck to memes and basically turned. Duke from just a, a broski dude who wanted to save the world, save chicks, and kill aliens to basically a basically just a, a unfun egomaniac. Which he was an egomaniac in the original, but he was he was a funny egomaniac. Maybe emphasize maybe emphasize that part of his personality a little bit less. Yeah, think 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 more Hercule than uh, than a Eisen. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this series is great, but it doesn't have enough me in it. Versus, yeah, I'm the best. I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm a great. <laughs> Hercule, I still find her. I still think Hercule's endearing. I don't like, think he. I don't think he was endearing in the Celt arc. Like he was kind of insufferable there, but he. Yeah. He recovered. Yeah, he he became more of endearing. He's like, I'll let you guys handle it. He was a great character in the Boo arc. Yeah, he he uh, redeemed Boo in the Boo arc. He also kind of he also helped out in the Cell arc by throwing the fucking head to to Gohan. He did technically do that, yeah. Yeah, tech. We mean technically. He uh, he did something. I guess that's as much as pretty much anyone but Goku and Gohan did in that arc. God. The best part of the Cell arc was basically Cell. Yeah. You know what I appreciated about the about that arc was that uh, Vegeta got really, really pissed off and charged at Cell, and it didn't work. Yeah. I, I love they, like... they subverted that trope that anger was not power, and then they kind of went back on that later on. 
Yeah, well, Ultra Instinct anger isn't power. It's just it's uh, I am really fucking up this. I see. I don't like this jump. It is. I can tell. You gotta go up. Only go up. up. Up on the jump. Ah, got it. All right. I can do this. I I know I can do this. I just you've gotten so close. I have. Well, kind of. Now, that last jump we haven't gotten very close on, I guess. That last jump is is. If I have trouble with this jump, how am I gonna fucking do the last jump? God, just a series of just like fucking like hard ass jumps. See that that I almost fucked that, and I and I. How am I gonna do the? I'd rather eat diseased Bokoblin ass than attempt that jump again. <laughs> oh no, James Rolf, is that you? I'm the upset video game commentator. <laughs> what is this bullshit? Jeez, game designer, make jeez, game designer. What are you thinking? There is a. Uh... I have no idea if there's any substance to this. I've not investigated it at all. Someone oh, yeah. mentioned in a chat that they heard there's rumors of a Breath of the Wild port for the Switch 2. Switch 2. Has that been announced yet, Switch 2? Uh, Nintendo did say that there will be an announcement of the successor to the Switch this year. But it had that anything more than that has not been officially, like, uh, announced. Uh... On one hand, everyone would think that, like, Tears of the Kingdom would be the one to come to it. Because a lot of Zelda games span two consoles like that. Yeah. But, at the same time, Twilight Princess was only one Zelda game old when it got an HD version. Hmm. So, who knows? Also, Skyward Sword didn't get ported for obvious reasons. Oh yeah, it didn't get, like, a remake until much later. I, I'm sure you can do it with Switch. Switch got, has got that uh, motion adaptability. It, it is on the Switch. It did get remade. Oh, okay. That's the uh, version that I streamed, and I also watched Vinny stream of it, and we both came to the came, same conclusion, is that, yeah, we want to like the motion controls, but let's not use them. Well, the motion controls are nice. I'm not going to fucking use them. They were they were not bad, ex except for, like, certain instances of, like, little mini games and shit. And unfortunately, you would encounter those scenarios often, so it just kind of became not worth using them. <sighs> Annoying. But apparently, it's, there was like some bosses that uh, involving sword combat that were really cool. I I liked the game more than most people did, but then I like you know traditional three D Zelda. Yeah. Still. Uh. Like I like traditional two D Zelda. The f still. Even without motion controls just the fact that you can use this both sticks to like choose sword movements gave the combat a fair bit of depth yeah uh there's a game released a while before that that was kind of like like that like free flowing sword movement it was kind of janky that was called die by the sword yeah the main character the main character was aggressively scottish yeah or i think what, what, was, uh, what was it on uh pc I think it's I think it's uh, freeware. You can you you can buy it if you know where to look, or you can get it if you know where to look. Um, it's focused on combat. Uh, you can, like cut limbs off of creatures. Three D Dwarf Fortress One. Uh, isn't that RimWorld? No, that's not three D. I guess that is another like colony sim, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, they're both colony sims. I think the three bi I think the three ones that were like explicitly influenced by Dwarf Fortress were uh, it was uh or the, the two ones were Rimworld and Amazing Cultivation Simulator. Yeah. Which is Chinese uh, Wuxia um Dwarf Fortress. Speaking of uh, inspired or like updated versions of games, I told you the uh like, one of the former directors from The Sims left EA over EA bullshit and is making yeah. a 
new attempt at the genre at Paradox. Yeah, what was it called? Way of Life or something? Uh, Life by You. Life by You. Yeah, my mom's really into The Sims. I was wanting to get that for her. I don't uh, remember so the details, but I'm curious. Apparently, in addition to that, one of the civilization devs wants to make a life sim. Oh, yeah. What, what, well, life, I don't I life sim, life but us. they also want to have, like, uh, they want to have, like, they want to make a soap opera creator. There we go. It sounds like. Soap op? Ooh! Like, they want to have all sorts of different events and things that could happen to your character and the, and the other characters in the world. Like the Sims with higher stakes. <laughs> I'd be down for that, actually. The it's Sims like a weird combination of the Sims and AI Dungeon. I honestly, I'd be down for that. That 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 sounds like something that that could be really popular. Let me find. Let me see if I can find the find the guy. Maybe it is Life by You. Maybe we're talking about. Maybe it's the same game. I don't think it is. Formal, former Marvel's Midnight Suns dev wants his debut life sim to focus more on storytelling than similar games. Okay. Oh, wait, Midnight Suns, dude? Uh, newly heard... formed Midsummer Studios, fronted by Marvel's Midnight Suns and XCOM developer Jake Solomon. <gasps> Damn it, I was so close. Also includes former Sims director Grant Rodiak. Wait, the, the dev studio is called Midsummer? Yes. <laughs> Happy Midsummer, Squall. There's also games called Paralives and Inzoi. I haven't heard of those ones. Done. Done. Dance upon the maypole. We'll make the game. I wonder if we're gonna gonna get another uh, like coaster sim anytime soonish. Because uh, Planet Coaster was very successful, but that was also, I think, before City Skylines even. It's a very niche uh, genre, unfortunately. Like, like, and I know niche genres. You think it's more niche than, like, City Sim? Uh, City Sim, you can build, like, a city, uh, and that's, and that's a very, that can be very broad. I don't know, like, I, I, well, if, I mean, there's a market, I know there's a hunger for it. There, pe <clears throat> like, uh, people aren't, can't be hungry for that type of game. I just, it's just, it's up to the dev to, to like, to like want to do it. And it seems like. I still haven't gotten around to trying Planet Coaster. I'm a fake fan. How dare you. Poser. You're a coaster poser. This, this is a, this is the worst jump. Yeah. Then I got to do another really difficult jump, and then I still don't know what the fuck that other jump is about. At least they put the like really hard jumps in areas where you can kind of recover afterwards, but still. Yeah. Still, this is just. I'm just barely missing it. Ugh. Still waiting uh, for uh, for the Elden Ring DLC to come out. I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, that's getting a DLC. Yeah, uh, I think it's Shadow of the Erd Tree. What's that? What's it about? I don't know. Apparently, uh, I, you can do like you can do like martial arts in that in that one. Apparently. Yeah. I'm just missing it. Isn't that all? Isn't that like? really ill-advised. It's possible, but ill-advised in Skyrim to just be, have an unarmed build. I, I suppose. <sighs> I feel like I'm slowly getting worse. Uh, I know that there was an unarmed skill in, like, uh, previous uh, Elder Scrolls games. Like, there, like, it was... In Morrowind, it was really, uh... It was really weird because it didn't actually deal damage. You hitting them, uh, it would decrease their uh, stamina, 
and then when they went and then when they went down due to fatigue and then you hit them it would then deal health damage that sounds that point, impractical was, yeah and so most people use a sword then again, like, like with Morrowind versus uh, Oblivion, like Morrowind's combat was basically you can you just miss. It, there weren't like any physics and stuff, and in Oblivion you would be able to hit them with whatever weapon, but uh, it would just affect the damage. <laughs> Bonk. Why the fuck did that not go? Game. Ah. Uh. Okay. Overhand. I need to do overhand in order to do that that grab reliably. Nope. There we go. Okay. Uh Any other games on your radar? Uh I know it's a great it's a great time to be like an indie fan right now. I can't think of any that I'm particularly looking forward to coming out. I'm... How am I fucking this up? There's the, uh, the Paper Mario remake drops in a couple weeks, which I'll watch someone play that. The Pay Thousand Year Door remake, you mean? Yeah. Or... Do they improve the, the, the look of the game at all? I doubt it. Damn. I, I doubt it looks any different from when it was uh, when it was revealed. Yeah, because I looked at that and it looked kind of sad, not as colorful, kind of flat. Yeah, it was like less uh, less like saturated. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> what if they took Paper Mario and went brown as real? <laughs> Make funny, everything I... desaturated and turn the bloom way up. Didn't that come out during the height of Brown is Real? Uh, Thousand Year Door was, yeah, it was like 2005, 2006, yeah. I think. Yeah, and, and you know what it had? It had color. It was amazing. We'd never seen anything like it and then on the GameCube. the opposite. Although, it, at the same time, what was Melee was 2001. One was Brawl. Brawl was like 2010. Was and that? Yeah, that was... That was the one that had the fucking the post-apocalyptic Mushroom Kingdom. Mushroomy Kingdom. That was so fucked up. What was what was the, the official like design like talk about that level? Official? What do you mean? Wasn't there like an official like dev like notes about that level, or am I wrong? I don't remember. Let, let me look it up. See if it is like anything on like a Smash Wiki or something. Yeah. Mushroomy Kingdom. Smash Wiki. Uh, so, oh, the official website, Smash Brothers Dojo. But why the Y on the end of Mushroom? What's the difference? We've designed a stage that recreates the layout of 1 1 and Super Mario Brothers, but with rich backgrounds added to the mix. Um, the, no? The king, the, 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 look at all this rich desert. The kingdom so much you. Desert. The kingdom you once knew has been turned to has turned to ruins over the long years, and it is now your battlefield. Okay. You'll get to enjoy a wide range of familiar structures. Also, since the stage slowly scrolls sideways, battles here will require you to come up with a very different strategy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it was, it's ruins. So wait, that it's just like it's gone to shit in the thirty years since the eighties. That's the explanation. Well, twenty years. I'm doing the wrong arm. That's what's going on. There we go. Ah, the ice! <laughs> Maybe it's just like that particular part of it. I don't know. It's the ice. No, I, I meant the, the, the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh. Uh, it's 1-1. One, one. I like the idea of like a post-apocalypse that not even Bowser is responsible for. I'm thinking of uh, that that one uh, mod, Panic at the Mushroom Kingdom, in which Mario is trying to prevent like some kind of weird uh, mushroom apocalypse. Yeah, is that it's in all, any like, way similar to a tree apocalypse? Well, I mean, tree apocalypse uh, 
it's just an apocalypse, but with like tons of trees, right? That <laughs> the trees weren't like support giving life; they just ate things. And then you got people who were in the middle of the trees, and they were going, "This sucks! What the fuck?" Wait, so okay, the tree apocalypse that was like a, a bad guy plan in Sonic X. If there's yes. no like animals, like that, that'd be the same as there being no trees. Like nothing is turning oxygen back to carbon for the trees. Yeah, that's why it's a tree apocalypse. It's not sustainable. Yeah. I'm getting. I'm just. I. I see. I told you this wouldn't take like ten minutes. Yeah. You can try as long as you care to. Until you have to go. I mean. Ah. Wait. Okay, that's what I thought. That's not. Hold on. What? Up to the, the top left there. That's not something you can grab, is it? The icicles? No. No, not not the icicles. Like, further left. Across the, oh. the chasm. That is foreground, right? That is that is foreground, yeah. I, I can I can bonk myself on it. But next time I slip, I will check it out. I don't... Th but it's not going to help, because it's way too... Yeah, it's pretty far. Yeah. I mean... I don't know if it's, no, it's further than this jump is. Because that looks like it could be... Okay. Nope. It's going to be too hard to jump anyway. Oops. God, this... Yeah, this... These, these series of jumps are the most difficult. Especially with the ice gimmick in this level. Okay, in Japanese, it's called uh, Ancient-ish Kingdom. Ancient-ish. Okay. So it's like it's like in the far, far future of uh, of the Mushroom Kingdom. That's the only thing being referenced is uh, is the Sakurai statement. He wanted to create the impression that the levels had been abandoned since their appearance in 1985. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that makes sense. There we go. Uh, what was the music for that track again? It was it like was it like deserty or? I don't did remember. They play a sit sitar. That is the that's like the lava the Nintendo lava instrument is the sitar. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. So so violin. I like when Bowser's Castle had that Japanese theme in Odyssey. Yeah? Yeah, it was different. Are like you still have any, any interest in Mario Wonder? I do. Um, I just, I got, I got bills I'm paying, so, so, and so I need to, so digging out my Switch to play it is, uh, is like, uh, not high on my, but I do, but I am interested. It does seem, it does seem like a fun time. Mario, I mentioned this before. Mainline Mario games rarely miss. Yeah, I don't think uh, maybe not the new ever... series, but other than that, the new ser new Super Mario Brothers. You mean? Yeah, you which weren't like themselves like bad, but they they got pretty boring, pretty samey. Yeah, I, I I think that was one. The three D world, I was kind of sorry I missed. That looked like it was pretty interesting. There we go. I think that's the only game I've ever returned. Really? I, I bought it. It just it didn't click. Okay. Uh, Odyssey though. Yeah. Galaxy was fun. I I really liked uh, how Galaxy played. It was just like it was just like crazy like linear platforming levels, and it was just like it was a t it was. I found it still to be fun, tons of fun. Yeah. Which is weird because I think I think I still rate Galaxy higher than Odyssey. It'd be nice if they, like, did a game like that without the motion control gimmick. Yeah. I'll try to go a bit lower this time. Okay, lower it is. I remember you making that jump and just sliding off dis despite holding the grip a few times. Yeah, yeah so lower is better, and it would allow me... A, a, it, it does a better angle. Okay. Okay, readjust grip. Yeah. 
Oh no! Oh, no. I got it. <laughs> I'm figuring out how to how to uh, grab it though, so everything's everything's gonna be fine. What do you think's on the top? Uh, I think, like infinite power. A triple jump. Uh, a pot of gold. What, what if it's a gold star that says you did it? <laughs> you did it in uh, Comic Sans. Damn. I thought that could have worked. Alright, let's try that again. You win uh, on like uh, on a three-handled handled trophy. So sorry, uh, you're a winner. What if you get to the top and you unlock level two? <laughs> Dude, the hardest game in existence. Damn, I guess one that would have worked. I'm, yeah, I'm going to say this: Bennett Foddy's kind of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> getting over it only game. has three achievements, and one of them is for getting to the top like fifty times. Yeah. Uh, Bennett Foddy is, um, he's, he's, he's kind of mean. There we go. I gotta use the ice. I'm, I'm remembering that scene in, uh, in that Mario Brothers movie where, uh, Bob Hoskins was going, use the fungus, Brennan in front of him, and then it hit the devolver beam, and it just created, like, this gigantic shield. All right. <sighs> <laughs> wow game I don't know I don't know what I can do to satisfy you anymore maybe we should start seeing other people okay, read a script is there anything else what else are we talking what else are we doing what uh what what game do you think we would start next ratchet uh, Ratchet, I was kind of hoping to do remastered uh, Tomb Raider 2 now that... Oh, now yeah. That yeah. But we don't have we don't have to immediately if you're still not up for it. Um, I still games? need to familiarize myself with it so we don't have a repeat of what happened in, in one. Well, it should run better given that it's a remake. Oh, yeah, it runs it runs perfectly well. And you know what? The, the updated graphics grew on me. It kind of makes me want to redo Tomb Raider 1 in, in the updated style, but I, I, I'm not yeah, going to. we don't to. need to do that. No. <laughs> I saw a, uh, I saw a PS1 Barbie game that was clearly, like, an attempted Tomb Raider knockoff. Oh, yeah. Wait, Barbie Tomb Raider? Yeah. Well, it was kind of. It played more like a shitty Crash Bandicoot. It played, okay, the level design was Crash Bandicoot, but the controls were Tomb Raider. <laughs> Imagine. Uh. <laughs> that sounds, it sounds like a Tomb Raider Kaizo hack. Yeah. Okay, back here again. At least I'm getting it here quicker than, than I was. I figured it out. You see the code. The code. He is the one. They could put Neo in, in multiverses if they wanted to. Uh, theoretically, yeah. No, we don't get Neo. We get a fucking gremlin. We get a banana. You know what? The, the gremlin is a better choice than the fucking banana. We get a banana. We get banana Black with Adam. A stick. Oh, is it The Rock? I, I think. Well, it was released in tandem with the movie, so. So, yeah, it was The Rock. See, these jumps are the ones that are, like, the, the most asshole-ish. Hey, you totally gripped that. Yeah, I did. I've never seen such acid tree in my life. At least I'm getting this, this one now, now regularly. What is this bullshit? I totally grabbed it, but I didn't. Jeez, game designers, what were you thinking? 
This game makes me want to shove a rock up my nuts. I feel like you're mixing the the, the angry video game nerd with with uh, DSP. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I was doing that, I'd be shouting it incoherently. All right. Yeah, yeah, okay. The lip uh, of it, not the nose. I was doing it too high still. I'd rather rock climb up... I'd rather rock climb up a giant's uh, asshole than play this game. You said it was a, a good time for indie games. Is there any that are you're looking yeah. forward to soon? Uh, yeah, a few. Um, I've been replaying Songs of Conquest recently. Uh, that's going gold uh, this month. I think it might have. I, no, it hasn't gone gold yet. And uh, that's been that's been a fun time just replaying that. It's a strategy game in the same vein as the Heroes of Might and Magic series. Did you ever play um, Hades? I have, yeah. Hades two, Hades 2 just came out. It's it's uh, early access came out and apparently it's got as much content as Hades one, yeah. which I find to be fun, funny. It's still not done. What? No way. Yeah. All right, this fucking jump. Oh my. Can I just? I hate this. This is my le new, new least favorite jump because I don't know what they want me to do for this. Top That's like, ten worst jumps in a difficult game about it. climbing. This this one. Number then, one. That, no, this is number two. Number one is coming up. Hey, uh, did you know you're a burger or Jack in the Box? The, there's the, a Jack burger. The, the, the smashed Jack. It's their new. It's their new burger that is like the, the the like molded mashed together hamburger, and not I don't know frozen patty, whatever they do. It was all right. Oh, that's, it was all right. Oh. Other people are other people are liking it more than me. It, it was about on par with like a Five Guys burger. Uh, no! It, Why do you want to go that way? It's trying to fuckers? push you to the left. What a dick! Does I even rem I I touched it. I but I just had too much momentum. I'd rather get a rim job from the Ice Titan than do that again. <laughs> I'd rather take Hades' 12-foot-long sub subway dick than, than, than to play this game again. <laughs> I'm going insane. You know, I, I, I remember Elf King? Yeah, I remember Elf King. Someone tried to explain to He just started playing Hades, and someone tried to explain to him that uh, it usually takes about twice as long to beat the final boss as it got took you to get there. Uh, and he responded by saying, It has that much health? <laughs> like, imagine it was just a damage sponge that long. No, it was like yeah, learning but... to fight the boss is what they meant. Oh, <laughs> I know that. I, it's just funny, the idea of, like, of like, hey, of like you have to fight this boss and his, his only attacks are just sitting in his lawn chair reading a book and then, and then like, sipping margaritas. And it's like the only... Uh, it's like the boss is just... It's just attacking your patience. I heard something interesting about the Hades 2 boss that yeah. got spoiled for me. Because the main villain is Kronos, God of Time. Okay. Isn't that the so, dude who, like, he ate his kids or something? Yeah. And then Hades hates him. Yeah. Uh, Hades uh, sealed him away. And then, apparently with Kronos, um, you can't pause <laughs> in his boss fight. I see. <laughs> you pause and he goes, nope, you're fighting me! I'm Kronos, God of Time, fucker! <laughs> so you can't do that. Um, unless you unlock something, and then you pause it, and then he's like, what? How can this be? I'm God of Time! And he slowly is just like, he just accepts, he's like, okay, fine. Go use the rest of your, or whatever you're doing. Dio moment. Mortal. Yeah. Imagine you can't, yeah, imagine you can't. I can't do that jump. Have you made I, it, I'm, like, at all yet? I've made it a couple times. I made it back up to the big ass jump up there, but okay. I'll have to come up with a new uh, AVGN ism for every time you miss that jump. <laughs> yeah. 
I'd rather re replace my dick and balls with an icicle than play this game. Okay, there we go. Bowser took a shit on my face, and I liked it better than this game. Nah. Still uh, creeping my way through Naruto, but I don't really have any any like news. He's, he's yeah, still said, just being anime Jesus. You said it got significantly worse since the start of the. Uh... Yeah, my summation of Naruto as a franchise is that okay. The the first part, you know, the original series is like okay. There's some cool fights here, even if like the world building is kind of silly and not thought about. Part two is when like the dude grew up and is like okay he's he's kind of starting to this guy's not an idiot he's trying trying to do something a little bit insightful now yeah and, then, and that that peaked with like the the pain fight and the pain arc yeah and then after that it's just like what the fuck is happening you you can tell he is like he's in full winging it mode now <laughs> but it's, but Bleach is still better despite Kubo being in full winging it mode ah. Uh, you know, it's really hard to say. I think I do prefer <laughs> Naruto a little bit between the oh, two wow. at this point. That is that is an indictment. I'm not I'm not crazy about, like, anything Bleach has done after the Aronkar arc, to be honest. It was very fun, like, early on, though. Yeah. I, I, I'm digging Thousand Year Blood War. It's, it's way better than fucking the Execution arc. Where nothing fucking happens and nobody's giving any information. That arc was like... Okay, granted, we're talking about the anime version of the arc. Rip. Damn. Uh, but uh, it was like... Uh, it was like ten episodes of nothing happening and, in and information intentionally being withheld from the viewer to seem mysterious. And, and then just having a giant lore dump after that. Yeah. It Ali, was some Ali. of the worst pacing in anime that we've seen. You you know what Kugo had over uh, over Aizen though. He had a backstory. I, I guess. Kind, kind of. But his his mo his motivation was still pretty shitty. It was like I don't like that I'm being spied on, so I'm going to destroy the entire afterlife. Aizen didn't like. Can we use this guy? What? Who the fuck is this guy? I mean, this one guy can uh, can rewrite the the past with his sword. All right, maybe we'll use him. Everyone else is a fucking jabroni. The <laughs> Soul Society did not need to get involved in that arc until the very end, and once they did, it was just over. Yeah, the one guy, the time dude, he's like, "Ah, I'm the strongest man." What happened? And he got bisected immediately by Kenpachi. Hey, Biakuya, yeah, let me fight that one. Yours looks stronger. <laughs> you know, and you know what? It wouldn't work. His fucking ability wouldn't work on Kipachi either, because he'd be like, "I don't care if you're my friend." Ah! The lip, the lip gave me lip. You know, it doesn't matter how much of a friend you are. I'll still fight you. God, I'm mad. Like. Then you got, uh, then you got, uh, then you got Mr. Watch himself. Whose powers were, like, very, very vague. He just kind of ended up being a Time Hulk and got punked out anyway. Oh, uh, y y Yama Baba? I was talking what? about Yahweh. Oh, I thought you were talking about the, the clock dude. The yeah, I already ringer. said, I already said he got, he got, uh, he got bisected. Yeah. What, what happened? Yeah, he's got time powers. He can Hulk out. Yeah, the, the, the whole arc was just... They were all just a bunch of, like, losers at the very end. Who only got around because they were sub, they they had subterfuge and, uh, and stuff, like, on their side. Except the one dude who they all treated as a loser. Like, he was the most threatening, actually. <gasps> he the was the lucky one who punch was like, dude. Yeah, he's like, oh, we don't want to give him more power. Like, what if we... The whole arc was about the, the, the whole the group of Fullbringers, the group of bad guys gaining powers to, like, share amongst each other. 
and the leader was like, no, well, let's not give it to him. I'm, I'm afraid of what he would become. He can kill us all. He, he can't kill us all now. Even if we gain more power, I don't think we can stop him if he gains even a little bit of power. I do love an unexpectedly powerful joke character. Oh, yeah. Like, imagine if, uh... Damn. That is a, that is a difficult... Why am I having trouble with that jump of all things now? Like, imagine if, like, if, like, Hercule was introduced and you think that he's, like, another, like, joke character, but he ends up, like, having, like, a weird niche ability that could cause, like, uh, fighters some trouble. Like, the more, the more people believe in him, the more power he gets. Yeah. A form of the spirit bomb! Like, like imagine if Don Kanonji, you think that Don Kanonji, he's just a loser that doesn't do anything. But no, he's got, a, he had actual spirit powers. Not very and strong he, ones, but... Man, yeah. Bleach really, like, the Soul Society characters are cool, and it kind of, it mostly uses them. It just didn't use its human characters at all. No... Because the Soul Society characters were cooler, and then the Iran car were cooler, and then the uh, the uh, Execution characters were fucking lame. Well, eh, they were wasted. I wouldn't call them lame. Like, uh, fucking... Fucking Angry Ladybug was was pretty cool. Yeah. It was a, what, a dollhouse maid character. It just happened to be voiced by the same char voice actress as Miraculous Ladybug. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, fuck. Uh... Okay. I wonder what that's starting the next season. What stupid bullshit they're gonna do in a post-Hawkmoth world. Well, it's gonna be Lila, obviously. Yeah. Or whoever... Or whoever her name is! What a dumb fucking show. God, you know what, though? The last season was... was I, 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 I was really into the last season, though. I liked it. It is entertaining dumb. It, oh, yeah. More so than frustrating dumb now. I hope it doesn't go back to frustrating dumb. Oh, they, they break up. The top couple broke up. And, uh... And we have to deal with that fact. I'm sorry. So th More so relationship this, hijinks. So that's not even a place that you go normally, that platform. That's just, like, a no, catch platform. Yeah, in case you fuck up. Which means they expect us to be able to do this jump. Us mortals. Yeah. Okay. That fucked up. Okay, I gotta be more careful. No. I said more careful, not less. Just the grip. Okay. How the fuck am I supposed to do this jump? I would assume you have your left hand gripping. I know. I'm just, I'm looking at it right now. Okay. No, because I need, I need as much uh, to the left as possible. Given the angle, I think, because it's so steep, I think it's better to be higher than further to the right. No, because if I'm higher, then that would also mess with my momentum. I'm going to try this again, and I'm just going to send it! Oh, fuck! I, I had it! I that had it! That was very it. close. Okay. You can do it. I can taste it. I, I feel like this is going to be the last, like, uh, the last major obstacle. Just keep on climbing. Through the snow, the rain, the rock. I can do it. Ah, that was less close. All right. Toonami is airing a uh, 5 p.m. block of uh, old anime right now. Oh, really? That's cool. What uh, what's uh, what's on it? 
uh, two episodes of Dragon Ball Kai, the okay. redub of Sailor Moon. Okay. And Naruto. Old Naruto. So tree it's like, in. yeah, it's 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 uh, tsunami nostalgia block. Oh, cool. Even they though really it's, it's new versions nostalgia. of two of those shows, but. Yeah, Toonami remake block. Imagine they, they really bothered wanted... to get the license for the ocean dub of Dragon Ball Z. <gasps> that would be great. I would. I would love it. We almost went the way of the dinosaurs. <laughs> that was. God, Curlin, you're. <clears throat> I see. Going higher is that's not going to make much of a difference. So. Oh man, there's a. Uh... Okay, come on, come on. There you go. That must mean that Cartoon Network is doing pretty badly if they're having to sacrifice airtime to Adult Swim, or Toonami to William Street. What's their what's Toonami what's uh, Cartoon Network's big series right now? I don't know if they even have one. Oh my god. Are they still making shows? Kids don't have cable anymore. Dude, is Adult Swim just gonna be? They're gonna own Adult Swim anymore. They're going to own Adult Swim, and that's... Because they're, they're... Okay, I'll shut up. Oh! Hey! Don't right. fall! I don't plan on it! So close. Oh, are oh, they going to make you jump again? Okay. It's snowing. It's turning into the Donkey Kong level. You ever heard of Congo Bongo? Congo Bongo? No. I didn't. I only learned about it recently. It's an isometric Donkey Kong, like the arcade Donkey Kong ripoff by Sega. Huh. Uh, how recent? I, not, it, contemporary to the Donkey Kong arcade game, so old. Okay. Isometric, huh? Yeah. So they tried okay, to so take Donkey 3D, Kong and make it 3D. Right. The quote unquote 3D. Oh, this is sketchy as fuck. At least they're not asking you to jump yet. You still got this. What? What's above us? Something! Are you just? Yeah, I am. I do not want to do this again. Please don't make me jump. Please don't make me jump. If you fall here, you. <gasps> Red! What is Ooh. this? You drop all the way back to like the beginning, beginning. Oh no! Well, this <laughs> game was fun. You're gonna have to use momentum swinging. My God. Yeah, at least I can. You know what, though? You seem like you're getting less momentum with one hand. Okay, they have grippy rocks. Yeah. They have a line of rocks to save down. us. Yeah, they knew. They knew what this this jump was gonna be. Well, we can't stop now. There's no water. I'm committed. You must be close. I have to be. If I fall here, though. God, doing this this part is fucking sketchy because of the insane reach you gotta have. The fact that they're making us go over an area without save rocks. Yeah. Without safety rocks. You got rocks if you want them. You can leave gravity behind. Alright. Okay. I'm just trying to... I'm just... It's so weird. I wanna I This is the this is Is it gonna got weird. Is it gonna like swing you too far horizontally though? I'm gonna flip if I do it like this. What do you want from me, game? Yeah, I know. Hold on. 
His arms crossed good. I don't know. <laughs> Last time you tried it with one hand. I maybe we should try it with two. That's what I'm trying. Yeah. What if you grab? Can you grab it like higher on the thing, or do you have to grab it the handle yeah. part? I have to grab the handle. That's the only thing with the. Uh... So weird. It. I. I. I want to reiterate that. That it. You're seeing if you can like let go with one hand mid swing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Take your time. This is, a, this is such bullshit. I lost my grip. I don't know what they want. What do you want from me? You really want me to do this crazy ass fuck? Swing! Swing louder! It janks really hard. I... I'm sorry. It... I, I don't envy you. This looks like it sucks. It does. I'd rather I'm help a Gia dude get its rocks off than do that again. <laughs> You'd rather help a what? A genie? Geo dude. Okay. <laughs> I should have written for uh, the angry, angry video game nerd video game. I wonder if that has speed runs. AVG in video game. <laughs> well, this game was fun. <laughs> That's <so tough. laughs> Are uh, are we still going, Jack? <laughs> Sure. I guess it's up to you. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do one more like serious attempt. That was that. I can't believe I fucked that up. That sucked. Rather suck on a snowman's snowballs. I. I ra I'd rather have. I'd rather have a, a Thanksgiving dinner at the daughter party than deal with this game. I think I don't have. I, I think I just. Yeah. I think my skill and accumulative skill is just gone. No, I, I don't blame you. Oh, I can show the current time in game if I wanted to. Yeah, four, Shit. four twenty. Almost. One sec. We have to. We have to sit here for forty more seconds. It's very important. Oh wow! Hold on, I got an idea. Yeah. Okay, showed. Get get it ready. Get the Zellrug. Get it ready. You know what I'm talking about. Get it ready. The end and screen? It, no, the other on uh, uh, Discord. Uh, oh, okay. I need a minute. Oops, I'm capturing Discord now. Oh, okay. okay shit. I'll do it then. Hold on. Oh, I'm da I'm capturing Discord now. Fuck. Never mind. I don't think we can do what you, you want to do. Oh, then, then fucking, then fucking edit it in. That's the only thing I want you to edit in is that. Or actually, you know what? I can do it myself. Hold on. All right, just put put your thing. All right. I I got I got Discord on a different screen now. You can just send it, whatever it is. No, you're I'm doing. not sending it. It's on. Hold on, I got it. I I, I have just now found it, and I am. Okay. Resume. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. That was not what I was expecting. Oh, okay. You got it. Sorry. You got it. No, I, no, I'm on my end. I doubt, but you, no, you did get what I was expecting. All right. Well, maybe we'll reach. come back to this, but probably not. Uh, oh my god! It that jump, the, those. Oh my god! The fucking. I'm like, we're almost done. We're almost done. You got right, really swing. far. Fuck you. We're gonna we're gonna like look at a playthrough and find out that was the final jump or some shit. That's a final jump too far. I'm afraid. I'm done with this game. Yeah. All right. Well, we 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 almost made. It. You did. You did good. You did better than I could do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I was hoping to get it done. I, 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 I'm really, I'm really ashamed of myself. Uh, probably won't be streaming tomorrow, but we'll probably do something next weekend. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this YouTube-only video, and we'll see you next time. See ya.